All right, everybody. Um, hi again. This week's habit of health is um, getting an adequate, adequate restful night's sleep. And um, I think this is one that we tend to, especially in our society, skip over because it's the most flexible. We're busy. We're rushed. We have things we want to do. And it's easy to stay up late or to get up early. Well, it's not easy to get up early, maybe. But um, it's something that we figure it's this uh, flexible time bank and we can just pull time out of it wherever we need. And if instead we think of it as banking hours toward health, um, we're not going to want to let that bank account run too low. Um, sleep is when we rest our brains, um, when we let our bodies recover, uh, we regenerate our cells and a lot of the work that is important toward keeping our long-term health um, happens, it happens at night. So making sure that you get a great night's sleep is really important. Uh, chapter 17 in Dr. A's Habits of Health is great for um, finding ways to improve our quality of sleep. Um, even if we can't get more quantity, maybe we can get a higher quality. Um, so some of the things you can do in addition to maybe keeping a sleep log to find out um, where the problem areas lie, you can uh, write a list of areas that you may struggle in. Um, is it staying up late? Uh, and the last time you couldn't sleep, if you have some kind of a, a log or a tracker, maybe it was because of something you ate. Maybe it's because you watched TV right before bed. If you're keeping track, then you'll be able to kind of hopefully find a pattern. Um, the second thing is decide what you can change. So. Uh, if it's TV and you notice that when you stay up late to watch TV you don't get a good night's sleep, maybe that's something that is fixable. Or, um, you know, not reading up in bed till all hours, or uh, taking certain medications at different times, or whatever it is. If you, if there are things that can change, making a, a plan to start changing those. Um, notice your sleep. Uh, again, that's part of mindfulness, of really paying attention to what's going on and you sleep as a tool. So uh, I found out that when we sleep we store memories so the best time to study is actually right before bed. Our brain can uh, have a lot of time to compartmentalize it and lock it down. And another really cool thing about sleep that I just learned was um, even one extra hour of sleep tonight or at night going from seven hours to eight hours physiologically helps us um, access that part of our brain that focuses on our long-term goals. So getting more sleep or more restful sleep um, actually helps us in the willpower or sticking to our uh, new choices or our new habits. Um, when we don't get enough sleep, when we don't get our carb protein balanced low glycemic index diet, um, and when we don't practice meditation or focus on mindfulness. These are all things that um, our long-term goal brain doesn't get enough energy and it can't focus and we start reverting back to that instant gratification brain. What do I want right this second? And somehow that hot fudge Sunday is way more important to me than me saying I want to be healthy and planning on exercising. So when we get better rest, when we um, spend 10 to 15 minutes a day doing quiet time or meditation, uh, when we, um, uh, what was the other one? Oh, low glycemic diet. Those things physiologically help us to have more willpower to stick to the decisions that are important to us in the long run, uh, whatever we've decided those are. So go get a good night's sleep, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.